Hello dear learners, I am Professor C. Murli Krishna. I teach and research in the Department of English, Usman University, Hyderabad. I am the instructor here and I welcome you all to learn and participate in week one, module one of this massive online open course MOOC on life skills for engineers. To begin with, let me tell you a little bit about the module. I shall be discussing in module one, which will be spread over six lectures, introductory aspects relating to communication, including and not just limited to LSRW skills, uh, listening, speaking, reading, writing skills, and also non-verbal communication while emphasizing on the need to overcome some common barriers to communication. As some of you would have known, at the end of the week and module one, you are advised to attempt an evaluation quiz comprising 25 questions. Among the many takeaways, let me assure you that uh, this module will, would be of great help to you all in understanding and internalizing the dynamics of day-to-day -day communication in English. When I said internalization, I mean this entire process of absorbing and imbibing the aspects relating to communication. With these words, I wish you all a very enjoyable and productive learning time. I shall now move on to lecture one. Lecture one is titled Introduction to Communication LSRW Skills. Communication is a complex process of give and take with innumerable intricacies and dimensions to it. When we say complex process, we don't mean complicated process. What we mean here is it has got many layers attached to it. When all these layers are activated properly in an appropriate measure, then you have the final outcome of effective presentation. That is what we mean when we say intricacies and dimensions to it. It is also seen as a set of competencies and it is taught and learned as a package generally involving training in all these skills pertaining to listening, speaking, reading and writing. It is also applicable these skills to any language learning not just the language in this context that is English. Listening, reading are generally seen as receptive skills and speaking and writing are considered as productive skills. Logically, because when you are listening and when you are reading something, you are receiving from a speaker who is speaking. As a listener, you are receiving and when you are reading something, you are receiving something from the author who has written that text. So in that sense, you are at the receiving end of the communication process. That's why reading and listening are considered as receptive skills. On the other hand, speaking and writing are, they involve a lot of more of outward exhibition of uh, expression. That's why they are called productive skills. You produce something through speech, the way I'm trying to say words and communicate to you, the way I am trying to write and tell you a few things. So these are considered as productive skills. Now these four skills, LSRW, listening, speaking, reading, writing, together they constitute the verbal component of communication. Now when I say verbal component, I mean component that involves the use of language, the use of words, the use of phrases, the use of sentences. But there is a huge terrain uh, which constitutes towards the success of communication which is non-verbal. And effective human communication involves a lot more than just proficiency in these four skills. So more than the verbal language, communication needs a lot of non-verbal input. Now what, what, do we, what do you understand by non-verbal input. Firstly, it involves appropriate body language. When you say something, or even when you are listening to somebody, 
your body language communicates many things. You need to be sensitive to what you are suggesting through your postures, through your gaze, through your facial expressions. Non-verbal communication also means right kind of intonation. Is your tone monotonous? Is it just flat? Or does it have some kind of high low pitch? So good intonation is a blend of high low pitches. So right intonation because intonation also conveys many things. And an open attitude. Thirdly, a good open positive attitude is a big plus in making your communication effective. And uh, willingness on our part to give and take. You need to give information, you need to take information. Only when you are open or positive, you get a good feedback. And the nonverbal communication also involves having empathy. You need to possess this quality of going into the shoes of the listener and trying to understand his or her problem. To have empathy, it's not sympathy alone is not enough or sufficient. You need to empathize, actually experience the pain or the pleasure of the person who you are talking to. And also a capacity to look at situations from varied perspectives. Every situation can be understood from multiple perspectives. So you should be sensitive, you should be aware of these many perspectives that exist in a situation. So all these together comprise the significant non-verbal communication, the non-verbal component of effective communication. Given these non-verbal factors, verbal language becomes just a platform to promote communication. We spend so much of energy and so much of concentration on these LSRW skills, but that actually comprises platform. Much of the communication is at the non-verbal uh, domain. In fact, uh, people have, experts have come up with percentages. Most experts now are agreed on the following. 7% of your communication is a verbal component and 93% of your communication is a non-verbal component. This is the contributing ratio that they have come to a consensus to. In any instance of effective and successful human communication, these factors have to be borne in mind. You cannot neglect the non-verbal communication. You also, of course, cannot ne neglect the 7% LSRW skills. You may in your spare time go to these web links and read the content for your further enhancement. These links have been detailed here, links uh, relating to skills you need, ethos, teaching English and uh, RD connections and uh, benefit more from these. Thank you learners.